Hello everyone, welcome to this. This is part two of the same video I was working on, so I wouldn't make the video too long. Um, this is a continuation of this, uh, this plasma that's working here in this town, Odessa. This is in Russia, somewhere, I think this is in Russia. But folks, this is, when you go watch that Gina Coben Hill, I think, um, Gina Coben Hill, I think, is her name, but she rec she's recorded quite a bit of this lately, um, and you can go watch all kinds of this stuff that's happening all across the world. It's not just in Russia, it's in Germany. I don't know if anybody's recorded any in the United States yet, but I recorded some a long time ago around my streetlight. It... Um, you could see the atoms working, the red atoms working around that street light. They were extracting power from that light somehow. But I'm going to leave this recording. I'm fixing to go get me a bite to eat. And uh, I'm just going to let this continue to record. So you won't hear no speaking.
Okay, I'm back. Wow, that stuff is really... Oh, it's forming a tighter group, it looks like. This up here's got... Looks like an owl, almost. Looks like an eye. An eye, and uh, of course a beak comes down and... I mean, that looks like an owl's head right there to me. It may not look like it to you. Or two sets of eye. I mean, it looks like an owl. And... I mean, look at those stripes. There's patterns in these. Um, in these... And that one's connected to that one. Now the blue's connected to that gold looking right there. There's a something right in here. Looks like a portal. That black matter. That. Yeah, there's something right here that's in between these. It looks like some kind of a, and even right here in there looks like a something, a figure, an entity or something. That is amazing to me, but uh, it's not shocking to me, but it ought to be shocking to most people. Folks, this stuff is alive. It has conscience. It knows what it's doing. Uh, it's spirit. It is spirit. I mean, you can see they form, uh, and it's got leg, you know, feeders, looks like tentacles going off to feed off of this. You know, I'm assuming that's the, a light power source there. It's just getting energy from this I think they're plasma lights you know night lights plasma night lights now that one's connected to that one right there reached over here and uh, connected to this whatever this is I know y'all couldn't see it probably Right here is a dark area. You can see it comes off that shade. Oh. But I see right here, y'all may not can see this, but there's an ear right there. Here's a, a head. Looks like hair. Looks like it got a white collar on. And it looks like a backside of a human to me. I mean, that's what it could be, but it's in this. It's in this plasma. It looks like a ear. It looks like a man's looking forward to that area right there. Looks like he's got a white collar, a black kind of a shirt. And his body's coming right down through here, and he's tied into this plasma field here somehow but this looks like a backside of a man's head watching looks like that's his ear that's his part of the side of his chin right underneath there and there's his white collar and there's his shirt now y'all may not can see that but my eyes don't see like everybody else's That is amazing what that stuff is, is doing. I'm telling you, we're close to the end of time, folks. We, we're we getting, I mean, it's... Now, there looks like a doorway right there. It's like it formed a entry or a portal right there. That's what it looks to me like. 
there's a, a some kind of a octagonal thing right there looks like it made a doorway a gateway or a portal open in there but see this black is coming in here I believe this stuff is forming black allowing black matter into our dimension it looks like right there some of that darkness that is pushing you know it's covering up that I believe it's coming out of that I may be wrong about that but look at these right here they look like gateways right there gateways portals portal Yeah, there's a there's a, a black hole right there, a portal. There's another one. I mean, they're making portals for. Uh, I believe it's black antimatter, black matter, evil. It's absolutely amazing. I mean, y'all need to share these videos with your friends and your family. I mean, if you uh, if you're not a Christian, if you don't know Jesus Christ, because I believe Jesus Christ is the only way, the only truth. Because of the the Bible, you know, is a plan of God's plan of salvation. And it's all the way through the Bible from the first verse to the last. It's all about Jesus Christ. He is our creator. He was there. Him and it's, I believe the Trinity, the Holy Spirit, God the Father, and Jesus Christ are all one. Uh, and I believe that is the only way to, Jesus Christ said, I am the door. I am the truth I am the only way into for you to get into heaven I paid the redemptive price I came into this world this dimension as a human without sin and I paid the, the with the price of blood his blood Hopefully, through these, these videos with this plasma, you, it can kind of help you understand what a spirit is, how spirits work, um, because this is spirit. They have energy, they have conscience, like, um, you know, I mean, they're, they're real. You can see the tentacles going into these windows right here. They're reaching into them windows. Um, I don't know if they're getting power from inside there somehow. Maybe there's some power sources in those windows. But, um, you know, I really don't know why, what they're, why those tentacles go in through those windows like that. But they know what they're doing. I can tell you that right now. There's no, there's no telling what the IQ of these entities are, these spirits are. There's the the IQ is no telling, you know. So 
we're not going to gather uh be able to tell you know exactly what they're doing for sure your only protection is the blood of jesus christ i believe um i mean it's what i put my faith and hope and trust in was jesus christ and my family's been in wrecks uh and there's nobody yet with a broke bone now I had, um i mean we've had total vehicles like um and i'm gonna give a testimony on one of the wrecks that happened in my family because um uh, it's unbelievable i mean it's you know it's hard for me to want to put it in a testimony because um i'm a human too and what happened that day that 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 my daughter and two grandkids and my son-in-law was in a total vehicle i mean it was a my son-in-law was pinned under it from his waist down, you know, for an hour and a half or two hours before anybody got the truck off of him. But the phone call I got was not a good, I mean, it. The, some uh, some guy called me on the phone and said, Travis, I just want to let you know your daughter and grandkids been in a bad wreck down here to Gillum Lake, and there's some dead. I mean, there's it's not, it don't look good, there's some dead. And uh, I'm gonna, I'll tell it in a video sometime what happened and how it all came out. I mean, you know, how the, the outcome of the wreck was after that. Because I had faith that I knew that in the end times that Satan would be allowed to change time and laws. And... Uh, I knew that he would be able to let to reverse time or cut time out or manipulate time. And uh, so in my way of thinking, well, God let me have more power than Satan. If I have faith that I can, uh, that I have more power than Satan, I can use that power. I can do anything he can do and I can do it better because I've got a good father in heaven. That allows, you know, that has gave me uh, faith since I was a little kid that the devil has nothing, you know, he can't do nothing that God don't allow first. But if I have faith that I can move mountains, then I can do it, you know, if I needed to. And that day they had that wreck. When I got the phone call, it was just uh, there was no way that... Um, I knew that time could be turned back, and I knew that things could be fixed. So when I got that phone call, this guy was telling me, Travis, your your family's been in a bad wreck, and they can't find your grandson. He got thrown out of the vehicle somehow. And it's just hard for me to tell it. Well, as soon as that phone call, when I, when that phone call ended, I went to my knees. And I prayed, you know. I'll just put it like this. When I went to my knees, I knew time could be reversed. And uh, there'll come a time in everybody's life that that if you have faith and you it's just too it's too hard for me to really tell. I mean, it's just hard for me to tell but all I know is I
I'll tell it. I'll finish telling it in a different video. But right now, this plasma, folks. There's a lot of people in the United States. Their identity's been stolen from them on purpose. I think it's for sinister reasons. If you're from Mena, Arkansas, or up mainly Highway 71, I know it's probably the you know. Uh, well, most of America is of the tribes of Israel. Uh, um, well, quite a few. And up and down my highway, there's many people that's from the tribes of Israel that I told a guy the other night, I, I, well, I told him, I seen this guy, and I said, man, you, I mean, you need to look up your family's name and stuff and see who you are because we're coming to that time. And if you don't think your blood is important, um, go ask the survivors of the Holocaust. Um uh, because uh, Hitler was targeting the tribes of Israel. They were trying to stop certain people from finishing the Bible. You know, the the, the two witnesses and then uh, the Elijah type. Uh, I think there's two witnesses and then there's the Elijah type coming. I mean, I think they're already here. But uh, oh, I was telling this guy the other night, because I'd seen his name in my genealogy, you know, or five generations back but anyway well i seen him again and i said hey did you look any of that up he said oh i ain't gonna mess with none of that bull it's, i'm thinking you'll regret ever saying that i mean if you don't realize who you are and who your family is if you get left here for the antichrist you your family's going to suffer i mean you're going to suffer because it's the same spirit that hitler had and for all you people that's following other people around, you've been paid to follow people around to when the phone call comes that you head out to the Dollar General or wherever, you're engaging in the anti-Christ spirit. You are engaging in Hitler's spirit because that's what Hitler started doing. He started telling lies on these Jewish people and uh, end up they ended up in concentration camps and then end up tortured and all kinds of stuff. And you're going to have to answer to God someday, your creator, that you didn't find out the truth, the real truth, you know, the facts, uh, why you're really following somebody around. But money is an uh, incentive. I mean, that's what they're using money to, to their, you know, I'm assuming they're using money. The Scottish Rite Freemasons is the top dog. I mean, they're the headhunters for the Jewish people. Or for certain tribes, I should say, especially the tribe of Judah, and that's who a lot of us are up and down Highway 71 is the tribe of Judah. I mean, we've got mixed bloodlines from most of the tribes, probably, but I know, uh, I know in my bloodline, I've got I seen Levite, uh, Gad, Dan, and Judah, and. Uh, Were the were the the seed of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, and if you don't realize that, you know, um, I don't know, I can't make you find out who you are, but Abraham started a seed line, and that's who we are, and Satan hates that seed line, and. Uh, I'm just telling you that um, if you don't figure out who you are real fast and you don't get put your faith in Jesus Christ alone, no man, not Donald Trump, not Barack Obama, uh, those people are evil. Biden, Joe Biden, those people are evil. They care nothing about you. They really hate you. Uh, they hate, if you want to do right, they hate you. They like their sin. They love the things of this world. I could care less about anything in this world except for my family. Money means nothing to me. Um, the things of this world mean nothing to me. My duties 
God's creating his family here. This is our testing place. You know, we have to, we have uh, a duties to here when we come here. If you're a father or you're a, um, even if you're a, a father or a mother, you have motherly duties. You have fatherly duties, you know, um, that is required. And, um, the baby baby boomer generation what is I ain't gonna say it's a lost cause, you know, but I'm gonna soon say that the enemy attacked and got really uh there's a generation of people born there that uh got deceived is what happened. You know, they just got deceived. And God'll bring you back, I mean if you'll ask him, but you know, people just don't want to let go of this worldly stuff. They don't want to tell the truth. They don't want to, you know. Uh, I had a, a close uh, family member say, well, who are you, Travis? Who are you to tell me that I need to, you know? Well, we'll see someday. You know, when we get before God, we'll see. I'm just saying get your house in order. I'm no better than you. I'm a human, you know. I'm, I make mistakes. I sin. Uh, just like the rest of them. There's a thing called repenting and turning from your ways if it's sin. And uh, I do it every day. I repent every day. And uh, I press toward the mark of the high calling. God says to renew your mind daily. When you wake up, the first thing that you need to start trying to think of is prayer to renew your mind before you even get started during the day. And I'm as guilty as the next person, you know, of, of uh, getting it done. But I can tell you what, in the past several years, when I wake up, the first thing I think of is, um, is God, my salvation, my family, uh, renewing my mind, you know, in the ways of God, because our ways are not God way, God's ways, you know. Our thoughts are not His thoughts. We it's we can't even grasp His thoughts really, except through the Word of God, and that's been changed too, you know. But uh, every day we should be when we wake up. That's even if we even if you have to make a note. Jesus said, if you love me and you'll uh, you'll keep my commandments. You know, I used to think, well, uh, I never did. Uh, it, it, come, it, it was always on my mind to keep my, the commandments in a way, in my heart. It was, you know, it was just natural for me to, to try to want to keep them somehow. Uh so I'm, Jesus said, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Uh, so if I think everybody needs a, a refresher on the uh, uh, reading, putting the Ten Commandments, you know, refreshing them in your mind. God puts people on this earth. You were put with your mom and dad for a reason. You, the parents, were put with that child for a reason. Jesus said, those who overcome, parents will test their kids. Kids will test their parents. And I hate to say it, but we've kind of had a general couple of generations well one generation of you know children that have been spoiled and it's hard for them to understand those ten commandments you know it's hard for them to see because it got I mean it's if you don't need God you know if you've got everything then you don't need God you know that's the way I see I, that I believe they see it you know well I've got everything here it's it's 
a beautiful place. This earth is a beautiful place that God created, and I've got all the things I need here, so I don't need God right now. No, we need God every day. We need Jesus Christ every day, every morning. And do a refresher on the Ten Commandments. You know, I mean, um, if if you're if you're having problems with one one of the commandments or two, I mean, put it priority. Ask Jesus Christ to put you know make it stronger in your heart. That commandment, you know, like uh, if you're having a problem with one of them, you know, I mean it. We're not, none of us are going to uh, conquer at all, but as long as, it, like the Apostle Paul said, I'm going to press toward the mark of conquering that through Jesus Christ. I'm going to conquer that uh, commandment. But there's still that web plasma. Uh, wow, well, this has been going. This has been going quite a while. Uh, I'm gonna end this one here because I think y'all seen you know plenty of it. But I'm gonna put the link to the this this one here in my uh, down in my description or something, and so y'all can click on them and y'all can go find these uh, and watch them yourself. You know, study them. Study this stuff out, you know, because this is the, 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 God says all, it, the end, um, the end will come like the beginning. Well, this is kind of what happened in the beginning of creation, um, in a different format, you might say, because, uh, this is kind of like the, the beginning that when everything was created, now everything's being, um, getting it prepared for the new world uh the new earth that that we're going to live on but this is signs in the heavens right here it's coming down from the heavens anyway but if the sky is the heaven you know there's different layers of of the atmosphere ionosphere those are those are heavens god named them heavens or sh I can't say the Hebrew name for it Shamayin or something like that you know but uh, our English name is heavens well they these entities are coming down from the heavens and they're starting their end time work whether it be good or bad you know God's God allows things to happen to I mean for testing I mean the tribe of Dan is going to be they're going to hold out to the very end you know denying Jesus Christ um, they want a king that's going to conquer the, the this earth, you know. And uh, when the whole Bible is, it's obvious. God said He sent them a strong delusion, the tribe of Dan. Most of them, not all of them, you know, but most of them um, that they they'll believe a lie and be damned, you know. And uh, uh, and I have some of that tribe of Dan in me, you know. I uh, don't know how much, but uh, my dad was from. The tribe of Gad, uh, my mom. Well, that's the 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 name, the tribe of Gad. Uh, my last name is or my surname, but uh, my mom is from the tribe of Judah, and uh, mostly from the tribe of Judah. And it kind of um, these groups stayed together mostly when they come over to America. And they probably formed the Bible Belt. Mostly they call the Bible Belt. But um, if you live in that Bible Belt, you need to see who you are and know what's coming because the Hitler's coming, fixing to come for you if you get left here. Hitler's going to come for you again. History, uh, the King Solomon said, there's nothing new under the sun. History repeats itself. Uh, the, the Antichrist... The, the big antichrist spirits like Hitler and, and some of those, they're coming again. This time, they'll do it stronger because this is the last time in our, in our span of time. This is the last one. This is the main antichrist, and this one here will be more 
God said there'll be nothing like the world has ever seen. It'll be a bad, so bad, the world's never seen nothing like this one. Not even Hitler. Bad as Hitler's was, the world will, will not, I mean, it's going to be bad for your family if you don't escape it. There's a way of escape. I don't care what anybody says. You know, they, they call that last trumpet. At the last trump is when the resurrection will happen. Uh, it's probably when the very last one will happen, but uh, there's harvest seasons coming. At least three, I believe. I mean, there may be three or four, but... Uh, Jesus come along and taught parables about barley, then wheat, then uh, wine or grapes, I mean, and then uh, oil, like olive oil and stuff, you know, and I think that might could be co combined together with the, but, uh, so there's different harvest periods for this earth. This earth is God's garden. He's creating his family. This is your testing place to, for him to allow you and me to have free will in the millennium and in the, the time after that is he wants to leave you to build trust. You know, adultery really means disloyalty. It don't have nothing to do with the, the, the effects of adultery is, uh, well, y'all all know, most people think adultery and uh, that stuff means what it really don't. It means being disloyal. The The things that happen during being disloyal is something else. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know really how to explain it, I don't guess, but I'm just saying that uh, they've, they've made words... Uh, make you think words mean something that they don't. These uh, Freemasons, Scottish Rite, the Vatican have made words, made you think their words mean something they really don't. Like the word, uh, the 144,000 that's going to be left here is virgins, uh, that does not mean that they've not been with a woman or known a woman or known a man uh, when they call them virgins. He's talking about idols like other gods. They've not strayed and worshipped other idols, other gods. They've been pure in their heart towards their Father in heaven and Jesus Christ. And uh, that's what that means. When that's calling them virgins, it ain't. It don't mean have nothing to do with being celibate, but it means not worshiping other idols, being adulterous to other, you know, cheating with, with another god is what that means. You know what it really means. When you get down to it and you read into the Hebrew and the Greek meanings of these words, we've been deceived through our even our churches. You know, I mean. Uh, I know there's good Christian people in these churches, but if, if you're in a church that's a 501c3, you have got to, you need to get out of that church probably because they have a covenant with Caesar to save, to get, you know, kickbacks really, you know, money back, you know, uh, tax breaks. So Caesar's patting you on the back if you're a 501c3. He's telling you that you just come in and, uh, you know, your church needs to be this so we can give you tax breaks. and But that's just to be able to control you at the end because they will start taking those tax breaks from you, from this church. And, um, and even the churches have all... Most all the churches have all, I can tell you a story about uh, even a preacher friend of mine that caved into the Scottish Rat Freemasons, the demands of them, and uh, I couldn't believe it.
but they threaten them. They do whatever it takes to get them to do what they want to because they're partially in that 501c3. They have a covenant with Caesar, the government. They have a covenant with gov the government. They're shaking hands with the government, the the uh, the rulers, the evil rulers. I call them evil. I call them what they are. Because I know in whom I believe. I've got a father in heaven that has protected me and my family all my life. And I can't even go into the, you know, stories about all that, you know, really on here right now. But uh, I'm going to cut this video off. And thank you all for coming to this, my videos. Uh, I'm going to ask you all to share these. Go to these links. I'm going to put the links in the description. And uh, at night, you know, just just go uh, when you see one of these a city in a city with lights like this. Uh, you know, just keep going forward. You know, clicking forward and advancing until you start seeing something like this. Then you can go back and start watching it from where this stuff starts. You know how it gets started, what it forms into, and uh, study it. You know, research it out, and because uh, it's real and it's here. Thank y'all for coming and. Um, Please share these videos.